Hey, what's up, guys? I uh, haven't done a video in a while. And, uh, yeah, I thought I'd just do a little video on my laser displayer. Uh, a couple guys out there have a video like this. Um, MN12Bird and Luke Morse. And, yeah, I just thought I'd do a little video showing off the laser displayer. So, yeah, the, uh, this is the laser displayer. This is a, uh, uh, to me this one. I don't even know. Maybe it's not a remote. Pioneer. This is a Pioneer laser displayer. Um, this is one of the lower end models. Bought it on eBay for about 50 bucks. This is the second one I bought on eBay too. I bought one before it and uh, the drive was all messed up and stuff. So, uh, and this was from a, uh, a school before and uh, it plays fine. But uh, yeah. Um, so, and if, you, if you're if you planning on getting a laser displayer, um, uh, that has that doesn't have a lot of buttons on the player itself. Make sure you, to get a remote. Um, I got this remote on eBay for about 18 bucks, kind of a rip off. But um, yeah, just find a remote that's compatible with your player and uh, pick it up because you're going to get a lot of features on here. Like um, if you have a laser disc that has an audio commentary, you can change the audio with this remote. So um, yeah, so let's pop in a laser disc. I got my little collection up here. Um, if you're, this is heat right here, um, if you're gonna be, try to get laser discs, um, what I would do is I would look in, like, Goodwills or thrift stores or something, because usually they sell laser discs for a couple bucks. If you go on eBay, you're gonna be spending about ten bucks per laser disc, which is kind of a ripoff. But, uh, yeah, so this is heat. This is one of my mini laser discs. Um, they do have the titles on the spine. You can't really see it that well. But, um, yeah, so, with a laser disc... Thing over here. And they come in these sleeves, and they're these, uh, they're tw like, I'd say that's what, 12 inch disc, um, and each side holds 60 minutes, so you're going to have to, um, hey look, there I am, you're going to have to flip the disc every 60 minutes, and when you get a movie like Heat, which is really long, um, you're going to be having two discs, some movies are even on three. But uh, yeah, so um, and there's also there's players out there that will play both sides, and there's even player really expensive players out there that will uh, hold two discs, so you never have to um, uh, flip them. But uh, yeah, so I'm gonna pop this thing open right here, and um, I guess I can talk a little history. Um, this came out the the same time as DVD. Um, maybe uh, you know what? I'm not gonna show heat. I'm going to do a quality thing. I'm going to get a movie that I have on Laserdisc and VHS. So, um, got here at Nightmare on Elm Street. Now, this is a special edition of the film. Now, um, this was kind of expensive. I paid like $35 for this on eBay, which was kind of ripped off. But, um, yeah, so we'll pop this bad boy in. And then I have a... And it's going to play. And I also have a copy of it on tape, which I'll uh, show you. Probably won't be able to tell the difference, but uh, well, and also laser discs are in widescreen, so it takes about this long to load. And oh, the good thing about laser disc is you can fast forward this crap. I'm just gonna skip into the meat of the movie. Let's go to scene six. Okay, so this is laser disc quality. As you can tell, there are the uh, bars on the top and bottom. You know, you can't really tell, though, with uh, the camera, but this is, I'd say it's almost, D almost DVD are. quality. Um, but yeah, this is Nightmare on Elm Street. This also had, this, it's funny, a lot of the laser special editions have uh, special features that won't be found on the DVDs. Like, there's deleted Should scenes on here, which I have the uh, DVD set of this. I don't believe it has deleted scenes. There's also the script up, and a ton of stuff. But, uh, yeah. So, there is the laser disc. Pop this guy out. Yeah, it does take a lot to load. You know what? I might not be at the Nightmare on Elm Street. I have this tape I uh, taped years ago. Um, and I, I taped a bunch of movies on it. Might not have. I might not be at the part where living there on Elm Street. Too. We're gonna find out here in a second. 
There's my VHS. No, I don't have it at the part with uh, so I don't think. No, I don't. Whatever. Anyway, but uh, yeah, and VHS is full screen and way grainier. But yeah, so there is uh, my little video for you. And hope you guys like it. Oh, I guess I can show you my videos real quick. I have Nightmare on Elm Street. I have uh, Independence Day. Jumanji. Nick of Time. Like I said, I had Heat. Uh, Broken Arrow. Twista. Specialist. Bulletproof. Cable guy, which does have laser rot on the uh, second side of disc one, so I can't really watch this one. Um, and laser rot is just like a deterioration thing that happens to some of the laser discs over time. Uh, you can Wikipedia that if you're interested. And then, uh, executive decision. So that's my video, and I'll see you guys later.